so it's absolutely beautiful out here today but we're not gonna be working out here because what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to load custom backgrounds into the CTS 3 I was asked about it the other day and never really put too much thought into it until well until now because I always assumed that putting custom backgrounds in the CTS 3 was just like the CTS 1 and 2 you have to do them all on the computer but on the CTS 1 and 2 you use uh, Edge's program called MyStyle yeah MyStyle um, this you don't do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and hook this up to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to go through and do that it's actually I think it's a little easier than the CTS 1 and 2 but you guys can decide that so let's go in and uh, let's get hooked up a few moments later okay guys we made it in our office made it on the computer and uh, first order of business on this guy we got the old sex machine fired up um, first order of business getting this plugged in so that plug right there with your CTS 3 when you bought it should have came with a data cable um, what, what it is uh, if you don't have one and you need one you can find them on Amazon what it is it's considered a mini a mini alpha um, and I'll maybe maybe as I'm, I'm poking it here I can put it on the screen it's a mini a USB cable so what we want to do is we want to take the cable that we had hooked up to the computer already the one that actually came with the thingamajig and we want to plug that in it goes in one way so get her plugged in it's gonna fire up that's cool give it a second show you guys what it does okay well that's what it does it just goes there everybody's computer is different but you want to go here to the my computer and that's gonna open up this screen and you're gonna open up the CTS 3 as a device it's gonna pop up like this okay the D drive open it up you're gonna come in here and you're gonna see all this stuff backgrounds logs whatever that is ready runtime tunes oh all this fun jazz what we want to do is we want to open backgrounds it's empty let me just say this before we get started with the CTS 3 you can load background pictures until either the cows come home or it just fills up but you don't want to do that because the more you put on this device the slower it's going to actually get you want it as empty as possible you know think of all the stupid stuff you remember from years back and if you didn't you'd probably be a lot quicker but so I'm gonna make this smaller I'm gonna open up my um, oops oh, I kinda want pictures okay I'm gonna make two screens now I have a couple that I really want to use this is one of them this is one of them this is one of them so three backgrounds and that as you can see this guy here still pretty empty you can put a lot of stuff on this guy so that's that's what it is to upload background to this guy it um, it's a lot easier in the CTS and the CTS 2 because those ones you had to actually go in to edges website and you had to download their my style program you hook the device in and you go through all its jazz to run that all right so we got the device plugged back into the truck I thought I was gonna be able to do it on the computer on the desk and show you guys without leaning over the steering wheel but I can't and I got some help you wanna say hi no all right well he's gonna help and the glare is horrible today now we want to swipe down and do wallpapers now we're still gonna have the factory screens but I loaded three 
just kind of chill little screens this one this one's for like dino days and when I'm driving like an ass but let's start with uh, let this one this is a nice one I like this one kind of has that 90s vibe to it and I kind of I dig it see you can swipe and have different screens actually that screens probably better for that background but let's go through and let's change this one first thing we want to do is pick a layout so as you're going through you're going to notice there's a lot there's 23 different options but there's only a small handful of layouts and they're they're just a little bit different on each one it took me a while to figure it out but it's it's just different little details in the layout as far as what accents are doing and all that fun stuff so what I'm actually gonna use we'll go through all 23 of them for you guys I'm gonna use this one for this layout we're gonna save that Save the new layout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. Are you sure you would like to save this layout over the existing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then go back. Now, the background is not going to change with the different layouts, which is kind of a shame, but at the same time, it's not. that one up see what it does so this one's kind of cool because you have your design in the middle and that one gauge and then your other gauges are still black so to accent that you can come back in here and since this is a, a analog style rather than digital we can have more fun but as you guys saw earlier you, if you tap on this tap on your gauges it'll go through the three phases I guess you want to call them so I like my warning being yellow and my alert being red. I mean, that's just kind of easy. Now, major ticks and minor ticks again. We're going to do it purple. And see, we have a little bit of extra color in there. So we can do like a, like a blue. The label, the numbers themselves, I want to keep them white, I think. Value label. That's the digital number. Let's do them in that blue. Label color. Unit color. Just for giggles, let's save that and see what it looks like. I should do the label color in the blue. We almost got it. We almost got it. Hang on. Major tick label blue. Go back, save it. There we have it. That kind of all works together there. Now, as far as the layout values are concerned, I will go through on my own time and change those. Um, because like this, training fluid temperature, it's a manual truck. It's pegged at 400 degrees. It hasn't run today, and it's, you know, whatever. 
we're gonna go through on our own time and I have videos other videos on these about changing your values and your PIDs and all that fun stuff so I'm not gonna go through it this time um, the main thing I wanted to show you guys this time was how to load your custom backgrounds because it's simple if you know where to go so I hope this helped you guys you know play with your CTS 3 and make it more personal um, again if just like always if you ever have any questions please 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 either in the comment section which you should be down there letting me know what you think anyways or on Instagram um, and I'll and I'll try to figure out how to put my Instagram link on here for you guys that is probably the best place to message me because I see that a lot um, I had quite, haven't quite figured out how to get notifications on comments and stuff on my phone on the YouTube thing but anyway Instagram is probably a good place this is a good place uh, let me know what you think in the comments and please 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 if you haven't already like and subscribe to the channel I'm really trying to grow this thing um, trying to do fun things for you guys informational things things that I would look up or spend time trying to figure out and not find anything uh, I do have some parts coming for this thing to fix some other issues uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm gonna kind of leave that up to your imagination um, one of them I don't think you could imagine but anyway Thanks again for watching, subscribing, if you haven't already, please. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.